Number 9. The Galaxy Ghost Ship In the Gulf of Thailand, Koh Chang Island is home to an abandoned resort with a derelict cruise ship along its shore. Once called the Galaxy, the seven-story, 70-bedroom ship used to be one of the resort's hotels. During its heyday, the Koh Chang Grand Laguna was a five-star resort, but it suddenly closed for reasons unknown to this day, leaving behind the Galaxy and several other structures like chalets and fishing boats. One Reddit user says that the Galaxy was a cruise liner before it was made into a floating hotel. Locals refer to it as the ghost ship, not only because it's deserted, but because many people have ended their lives by jumping from its decks. The vessel is creepy to start with, but if the stories are true, a whole new dark dynamic is added to the galaxy. In 2017, travel blogger Messi Nessie Sheik visited the site. She later wrote that some parts of the resort were unusually well-maintained, while other areas had fallen into shambles. She also noticed some staff members on site, including a security guard who collects tips in exchange for letting people explore the ghost ship. Images captured by visitors show just how run down the galaxy's rooms have become since its initial abandonment, with stained carpets and furniture falling apart. There's clearly been no electricity or running water for quite some time, and the dark vessel appears to have been taken over by stray animals, who now treat it like their home. Interestingly, the office contains a cabinet full of keys that was left open, almost as if a front desk employee had to leave quickly one day and never returned. Number 8. RMS Queen Mary From 1936 to 1967, the British ocean liner RMS Queen Mary carried 2.2 million passengers between Europe and North America. The only time its service was interrupted was during World War II, when it served as a troop ship. The vessel boasted five dining areas, two cocktail bars, two swimming pools, a grand ballroom, a squash court, a small hospital, and more. Today, it's permanently docked in Long Beach, California, where it serves as a floating hotel and haunted attraction with three restaurants and a venue hall. Legend says that guests may encounter one of the Queen Mary's passengers from long ago among the original wooden portholes. In its 2008 Top 10 Haunted Places list, Time Magazine describes the ghosts of a sailor who died in the engine room, children who drowned in the pool, and a woman known as the Lady in White. Guests who are brave enough and willing to shell out a pretty penny can stay in the vessel's most haunted rooms, including Stateroom B340, where a man mysteriously died in 1948. Ever since, people have claimed to see a figure who disappears into thin air. There are also stories about an invisible force ripping covers off guests while they sleep, strange knocking on the door at night, and the bathroom sink being left running despite no guests staying in a room. There's also the Mauritania Room, where three maids watched a woman disappear before their eyes in 1989, and the pool, where people have seen a woman in a tennis skirt vanish into thin air, and a woman in an old-fashioned wedding gown standing next to a small boy in a suit. Number 7. Mandalay A 111-foot-long steel-hulled schooner, eventually known as the Mandalay, was built in 1928 as the Hardy Biao. It got its name in 1965, when it came under new ownership and was repurposed to be a cruise ship. The vessel was outfitted in mahogany, brass, and ivory, and had a two-room owner's suite, three officers' staterooms, and three guest staterooms. There was also a saloon and living room. While on its way back to Florida from the Bahamas on New Year's Day in 1966, it ran aground with 23 passengers and 12 crew members on board. The accident was blamed on the captain miscalculating the route and leaving an inexperienced sailor at the helm. By the time it crashed into the rocks, the Mandalay was 20 miles off course. A harrowing rescue effort was launched amid heavy winds and 10-foot waves. Luckily, everyone survived the ordeal unharmed except for one passenger who sustained minor injuries. The Mandalay remained above water long enough after the wreck for looters to take valuables. Today, it sits at the bottom of Long Reef in Biscayne National Park. It's one of at least 44 wrecks throughout the park and is found in shallow, clear waters as a popular snorkeling and diving attraction. Have you ever been scuba diving? Tell us about it in the comments below and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. SS United States Built in the early 1950s, 
The Ocean Liner SS United States went down in history as the largest liner built entirely in the States. It was also the fastest ship to cross the Atlantic and still holds the blue ribboned accolade for having the highest average speed. Between 1952 and 1969, the ship had uninterrupted transatlantic passenger service. From the 70s on, the United States shifted hands several times, with each owner trying and failing to revive it. When it became clear that the vessel would no longer be profitable, the ship's fittings were auctioned off, and anything hazardous on it, including asbestos panels, were disposed of. By 1994, the vessel was basically stripped bare. It's been docked at Pier 82 along the Delaware River in Pennsylvania since 1996, with an uncertain future. Since 2009, a preservation group has been trying to come up with enough money to save the ship. The funds ran dry at least once, and right as the group began considering scrapping the ship, an influx of donations came in. But nothing has been done yet, and the ship continues to sit and deteriorate. Number 5. MS World Discoverer Built in 1974, the German cruise ship MS World Discoverer was made to withstand the frigid Arctic and was even capable of navigating the icy Northwest Passage and waters of Antarctica. Despite its durability, the ship met its demise in 2000 when it struck an uncharted reef off the Solomon Islands. A ferry captain responded to the Discoverer's distress call and safely evacuated all passengers. The ship began to list, so the captain grounded it in Roderick Bay to prevent it from sinking completely. Insurance investigators classified the boat as a total loss, and it's been slowly rusting away in the bay ever since. Several companies have tried to salvage it over the years, but they realized that on top of being damaged by nature and neglect, it has been ransacked by locals during a violent civil war. Simply put, there was no saving this vessel. For now, the wreck functions as a tourist destination, but that won't be the case for much longer. With a 46-degree tilt, it's practically laying on its side in the water. Eventually, what's left of the world discoverer will slip beneath the waves and be forgotten in time. Number 4. SS American Star The SS American Star was built during the 1940s to be a luxury cruise ship, but with U.S. involvement in World War II looming, it was instead used for transporting American troops overseas to Europe. Throughout the conflict, the American Star evacuated nearly 483,000 soldiers while camouflaged. After the war, it was turned back into a cruise ship. The vessel made its first cruise in 1946, when it traveled from New York City to Southampton. The reverse route that the ill-fated Titanic took just 24 years earlier. Over the years, the American Star went through several owners and numerous renovations, but time and use took an inevitable toll on the boat. By 1993, it was no longer operating and had gone 16 years without any maintenance, rendering its engines inoperable. A Thai company bought the ship for $2 million with future plans to turn it into a luxury hotel. But that vision was put on hold in 1994 when the star encountered a brutal storm off the Canary Islands while being transported to its new home. The vessel towing the ship lost control, and a few days later, it ran aground near Fuerteventura before breaking in two. It was declared a total loss and was left behind in the shallow waters off the coast where looters stripped it of anything valuable. For 13 years, the front half of the American Star sat somewhat submerged near the beach. Finally, in 2007, it fully sank beneath the waves. Number 3. Spirit of Sacramento The three-story Spirit of Sacramento snagboat was originally built as the Puta in 1942 for the Army Corps of Engineers. In 1954, the vessel was sold to actor and filmmaker John Wayne as military surplus. He used it in his film Blood Alley the next year. The ship's string of bad luck began in 1957 when it collided with a cottage. It was out of service for the next two years while it received repairs. After John Wayne sold the boat, it was rechristened as the Madison Bell. Throughout the 60s, it was used for cruises on the Sacramento River. Channel Star Excursions bought the Bell in 1991 and renamed it the Spirit of Sacramento. The company used it for hosting dinner cruises for over five years until it was almost completely destroyed in a fire. 
In 1996, Captain William Barker bought the badly damaged remains for $120,000 with plans to rebuild it for dinner cruises, but he kept running into bureaucratic red tape, and in the meantime, the boat was vandalized. It almost seemed like Barker ran into misfortune whenever he was almost ready to open for business. The spirit of Sacramento fell into disrepair, and the state of California sued Barker for its removal. He moved the partially submerged ship to a roadside where it remains neglected in a state of decay. It's located on private property, but is easily viewable from the road, attracting plenty of curious visitors. Number 2. SS Valencia During the late 19th century, the passenger steamer SS Valencia took travelers back and forth between San Francisco and Alaska. It wasn't very popular among travelers, who complained that the ship was too small and that it left them overly exposed to the elements. The Valencia was also slow, earning it a second-class rating, and to top it off, it navigated poorly during winters. It had a troubling safety record, starting with an incident in 1902 when it crashed into another ship and was punctured. An investigation concluded that if the ship had been damaged below the waterline, it would have capsized. In 1905, the Valencia ran aground. Thankfully, no one was injured. During the vessel's last voyage in 1906, it encountered terrifying bad weather. The ship struck a reef 11 miles off Vancouver Island, ripping a huge gash in the hull. Water gushed in, and the Valencia's 108 passengers were quickly loaded onto lifeboats. Three of them flipped while being lowered and sent their occupants flying into the water. Two other lifeboats vanished and another capsized. Only nine people survived the accident. Everyone else drowned, died from hypothermia, or were beaten to death by the powerful waves smashing them into rocks. For years after the disaster, fishermen and locals have claimed to see a phantom ship that resembles the Valencia. Some witnesses reported seeing skeletons on board, while others say they saw human-like figures clinging to the wreck for dear life. Number 1. MV Aurora German-built luxury cruise ship MV Aurora was launched in 1955 as the Wappen von Hamburg. It was the first ship Germany was allowed to build after World War II. Throughout its career, it sailed as the Delos, Polar Star, Pacific Star, Xanadu, Expex, and Faithful, to name a few. The 293-foot-long vessel was famous for its upscale accommodations and is even said to have inspired the fictional TV series Love Boat. It boasted 85 boutique cabins, an art deco lounge, spacious sun decks, and impressive reception galleries. By the time the ship became known as the Aurora in 2010, its days as a luxury liner were long over. The vessel had been sold and repurposed in the late 70s during a decline in the cruise industry. It then served as a crabbing ship, housed religious converts, and had other various functions. As it fell further into disrepair, it bounced from owner to owner and was ultimately abandoned in 2007. The following year, a San Joaquin County, California resident named Chris Wilson saw a Craigslist ad for the boat. He had no experience with renovating cruise ships, but was intrigued. He bought the Aurora from a marine salvage dealer in hopes of turning it into a museum. Only then did he realize how much work it would take to restore the vessel to its former glory, but Wilson remains passionate about the project and is slowly bringing the decrepit ship back to life with help from a few volunteers. He lives on the ship full time and hopes to eventually turn it into a popular public attraction. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been on a cruise before? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.